Uh, this is a quick video to show how to get the MSC female light from uh, Morph 3D working in Unity. Um, really cool package. This is by the guys who made Daz. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So I'm going to do this from scratch uh, so we don't miss any steps. I'm going to create a brand new and uh, this brand new project, we'll just call it, I don't know, we'll call it Daz 3DZ. Now this is Unity 5.2. I upgraded it. Uh, it also works with 5.1, but we'll just get right into it with 5.2. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is download the package. So I'm going to the asset store inside of Unity. And then I'm already logged in. So I'll take a shortcut to the package here. Now I've downloaded this already, so go ahead and download it. It takes a little while. Uh, and after that, click import. Now the decompressing part is going to take a while. Uh, up front, we're going to do a lot of steps. So now's a good time to grab some coffee, play some games, do whatever you want. Um, I'm going to pause the video, hopefully. And then we'll jump right back in once this is downloaded. Okay, picking the video up real quick. The import package screen pops up. Just leave it as it is and click import. Now Unity is going to do its thing. Uh, my screen is currently freezing up for a second while it thinks and then it's going to start to import the package. This does take a minute, so now's a good time to, again, go get a drink or something. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, it looks like it's almost done. Let's check in for a moment. A lot of stuff getting imported right now. I see whole PSD files in there. That's pretty exciting. Maybe do some editing there later. Ninety-nine percent and and I'll pause it again. Okay, the import just finished. So one of the first things you may notice is that there's going to be a bunch of warnings over here. Sorry, it's opening Visual Studio. As of the new version of Unity, new editor. But enough about that. Console's going to throw a bunch of errors. Straight up, just ignore those for now. Excuse me, warnings, not errors. So the second step to this would be to read the README file. And the README file is going to say the first thing you need to do is re-import this again. So in Assets, right-click on the Morph 3D folder and go to um, re-import. Now, the reason why is there's a .dll file, and for whatever reason, I don't completely understand it, it doesn't get loaded correctly the first time. So if you've tried this before and you've imported it and noticed the model doesn't have any textures or controls, that's the reason why. So we're going to let this run, and I'm going to pause the video again. <laughs> so this is almost finished, if that bar can be believed, and your patience will be rewarded because this is going to do a lot of work for you up front. Ciao Bella, FBX. It is kind of neat to see the files get installed. It gives you an idea where things are. I'm going to put it on pause yet again because this is the classic Microsoft 99% waiting thing. So, And we're back. It's now finished. So same thing with the warnings. It's going to flash some warnings. I like to keep it clear just so I can see what's going on. After all that's said and done, I suggest you save. Maybe save your scene as something. I'm going to save it as default. That works. And then save the project. So you don't have to go through that again, just in case. All right, so with everything imported, now's the time where we can bring the character in. So um, in the hierarchy, I'm going to the Morph 3D folder. Under here, start at packages, female, and then MCS female lights, and there's the model. So we're just gonna left click, drag and drop it right onto the canvas. And there she is, fully textured right off the bat. Very nice. So we're gonna take the camera and put it in a position where we can see our character better as we continue to build her out here. We'll preview it in game mode. And we'll spin that about 180 degrees. Bring it in a little closer so we can see our character. Now the next thing we'll do here is put some clothes on this girl. So 
it's not like Daz, if you're familiar with it, where you drag and drop the clothing, it's a little different. So, first thing we'll do is navigate to it. So, Morph 3D, Starter Packs, Female, Outfits, Chow Bella, and there's the Chow Bella. So, if you just drag and drop this, it's going to show up as an object in the scene, which is kind of interesting in its own right, but not that useful. So, the trick to this is you have to use this new system that they're designing. Uh, and the component of the character. So in the hierarchy, I'm selecting MCS Female Light. Scrolling down to the components here, there's the M3D Character Manager. And here there's um, an option called Show Content Packs. Click that and you'll see a box that says New and a place to drag objects. Take the Chow Bella clothing, drag and drop it into the new box and let go. You'll notice that right away, she's wearing her outfit. Sweet. Now the other thing to note here too is under this M3D character manager there's now a clothing thing. Well there was a clothing thing but now it has content in it. So you can disable these kind of things as you need to. So the same logic applies for the hair. So let's give her some hair. We'll go back here. I'm just going to click on female and then uh, hair. There's the hair folder and there's her hair. Same process here, we're going to click back on the character, we're going to go to the M3D Character Manager, go to Show Contents, drag and drop the hair into the new box, and then like magic it snaps right to her head and shows up under this hair category. So let's run the game. There's our character, fully configured, ready to do other fun stuff. So briefly let's touch on some of the uh, really cool, let me zoom in here, really cool features where you can morph how the character looks right inside of Unity. Now, for me, this is really the most interesting thing about this product. I've been trying to import Daz products for a while. Never a clean workflow. But this is pretty clean. So down here, under female character, we'll go to all blend shapes. Now, this is where you can get into customizing the way your character looks. And we'll just do a couple real quick to, to really show that I mean, this is, you know, right inside of Unity. It's so cool. You get a different character shape just like that. So we'll just do something a little more drastic too. Like maybe we'll go with Goblin, for example. You know, you can flesh out a Goblin body like that. Uh, so the face. Youthfulness, posture, neck, thin, shoulders. All these different things in here are just sliders, as you can see. Uh, you don't see the little uh, drag and drop dial thingies. Make the window bigger. So take that, zero that out, and then go to something fun. For example, you can type in. There's a lot of things you can type or select, so it's a good idea to type them in sometimes. Let's zoom in. You can see her face is already transforming into this goblin type character. So cool. So let's pick her. Go back to blend shapes. Type in goblin. And we'll continue to slide that dial a bit. So you can really customize the characters easily inside of Unity. Um, and to me, that's one of the big advantages of this software. So that's the basic uh, way to set this up quickly. Um, if you'll notice, I didn't use the default scene. Um, I wasn't able to get the default scene to work, so I didn't bother with this. This comes with it. But that's how you do it from scratch. Uh, essentially, the process was do the import, re-import the folder once it's already imported into the project to make sure the DLL works right, then browse all the way down into the starter packages folder to female, drag the model out, that sets up the initial character, and then after that, uh, it's a matter of then customizing her, giving her clothing and stuff. And the thing to note there is to make sure you go to M3D Character Manager, and then drag and drop them onto the Show Contents new property. And then from there, they'll be listed down here. This probably applies uh, workflow-wise to the other product they have in the store, the male version of this. So hopefully this was helpful, um, and you can get started after watching this video right away, and I have to experiment too much. Have fun. Thanks.